In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a CV in Word. And this is what we'll achieve by the end of this tutorial. So, if you like what you have seen and want to create your own CV, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher, where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So to create this CV, I need to open a blank document. Have an open word. The first thing I do is enter the title of my document, which is Curriculum Vita. Hit enter. Next, I enter my name. Hit enter. The next thing I do is go ahead and insert a table. So I go over to insert, click on table, and I need a table of two columns, four rows. This is where I enter my personal information. So the first one is date of birth. Next is address. Followed by phone. And final email. I exit out of the table and I hit enter. I insert another table of two columns, maybe five rows. It doesn't really matter. You can always increase it if you want. In the first cell, I enter career goal. Going down, I enter education. Next, I enter professional experience. Next is accomplishment. Next, I enter skills and abilities. I'll add another row for refresh. So with my insertion point being here, if I press the tab key on the keyboard, the insertion point will move to the last cell. If I press the tab key again, it will create a new row for me. I enter references. This is all what I need. Now it's time to customize my work. So I highlight all. And I'm going to go ahead and change the font. So I drop down the arrow and I'm going to search for trebuchet. This is the font. I just select it. The next thing I do is highlight the title and my name. And I'm going to go ahead and center them. I change the case to uppercase. And I go ahead and increase the size to 16. I'll select only my name and I increase the size to 20. Awesome. Next, I'm going to go ahead and decrease the column right here to this much. And I'll do the same thing here. Awesome. Next, I select the whole of this table by clicking on the cross icon right here. I go over to layout and the table tools. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the height to 0 0.6 centimeters and the alignment I choose align left center like this so that my text will be in the middle of the cells maybe I can increase the height of the table again to 0 0.7 centimeters I do the same thing in here so I select the table I increase the height to 0 0.7 centimeters and I change the alignment to align left center next I go ahead and change the font case here so I select the whole of this and I go over to home. I change it to uppercase and I'm going to go ahead and align it to the right. I can do the same thing in here. Perfect. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Next, I go ahead and fill up the cells in here. So first of all, the career goal. I just go ahead and paste in this text, which I've already copied to clipboard. Next is education. So I enter school name. I'm just going to keep a placeholder text. Location and final degree. Hit enter. I hit another enter and I enter dates. And the date will be from 
to hit enter in the next row you may want to enter the courses you offered so i'll just enter some placeholder text i'll highlight the title here now make it bold i'll do the same thing to the dates perfect and you may want to duplicate this for the number of degrees you have so i'll just highlight and copy all click down here hit enter and then i go ahead and paste once more perfect maybe the headings here i want to change the alignment so i select the entire column like this then i'll take it to align top right perfect i can also go ahead and make it bold this is cool next is professional experience the first thing is job title so i'll make this one and then name of company hit enter another enter then i go ahead and enter dates which will be from to hit enter i'll make all this bold awesome down here below is where you enter your key responsibilities so i'll just paste some dummy content and you may want to repeat this for the number of jobs you have worked next is accomplishments i'll just paste in some dummy content and going down the skills and abilities this one i want to make it bullet points so i go over to bullets right here so i'll just enter skills and abilities one Perfect. And finally, references. So I have the referee name, hit enter, job title, enter, organization, and finally, phone. I'll repeat this for the number of references I want to add. Maybe two will do. Next thing I want to do is create spaces under each one of them, like here. I want a space down here so that there'll be some kind of separation between the top row and the next one. I already have some space here. There's a space here, space here. I'll create one from here. Perfect. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the lines on my table. That is this second table. So I select all. Then I go over to table design and the table tools and the borders, I choose no border. So with this, the lines are off. You are only seeing this grid lines just as a guide. You are not really going to see any lines when you print out the document. If you don't want to see the grid lines, you can go over to borders again. Then you make sure you click on view grid lines. So if I click on it, you see that the grid lines are off. But I'll bring it back just to serve as a guide. However, I need some lines on top of every single heading. Like here, I'll add a line here and I'll do the same thing for the rest of them. So I can just select the whole of this row like this. Then I go over to borders and I choose top border. It's still selected. I go over to borders again then I choose bottom border so that I have the line here and here as well. Next, I need border on top here and down here. So instead of highlighting this, I'll rather highlight this and I'll go over to borders, bottom border, and then top border. Similarly, I do the same thing here, top border and bottom border. If you want, you can also go ahead and take up the lines on the personal information. Let me bold this one up here to make everything consistent. Perfect. I'll make the name too bold so that it will stand out now the design of my cv is done so with this you can go ahead and use it as your professional cv we can preview it to see how it looks perfect i like it this looks neat and clean i exit from here so that's it on how to create a cv in word i hope this video was helpful if you found value kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you will be the first to know keep watching and i'll see you in the next one